This is VOA News. I'm Marissa Melton. A Massachusetts Air National Guard member has been arrested in the case of highly classified military documents leaked online. AP Washington correspondent Sagar Magani has more. Heavily armed federal agents took 21-year-old Jack Teixeira into custody outside his home. Teixeira is an employee of the United States Air Force National Guard. An intelligence specialist whom Attorney General Merrick Garland says will be charged with unauthorized removal of classified national defense information. Investigators believe Teixeira led an online chat group where the documents about the Ukraine war were posted. This was a deliberate criminal act. Pentagon spokesman Pat Ryder referred all questions to Garland's Justice Department about the highest profile intelligence leak in years. The Biden administration has been scrambling to contain the fallout. Sagar Magani, Washington. Diplomatic sources said Thursday that foreign ministers from the group of seven nations will use talks in Japan next week to assess their strategy in the Middle East. The U.S. and its main European allies were caught unprepared in March after China brokered a deal between regional foes Saudi Arabia and Iran to revive diplomatic relations after years of bitter rivalry that has fueled conflict across the Middle East. Saudi Arabia is also pressing ahead with efforts to thaw bilateral ties with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. It would join several other Arab states in moving to formally end Syria's regional isolation. The ministers of the G7, those are France, Britain, Germany, Italy, Canada, the United States, and Japan, are set to meet in Japan uh, Sunday through Tuesday of next week. From Washington, this is VOA News. Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva promised Thursday that Brazil is back, to use his words. He was making that promise during a state visit to China aimed in part at strengthening trade ties. Lula arrived in Shanghai on Wednesday. He participated in a ceremony Thursday to inaugurate political ally Dilma Rousseff as president of the BRICS New Development Bank. BRICS comprises uh, top emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Ukraine's Foreign Minister Dmitry Kaleva on Thursday urged Western nations to develop a consistent Black Sea strategy to push out Russia from the region. VOA's Jeff Custer has more. Speaking via video link to a conference on Black Sea security in Romania, Kaleva called for a comprehensive security network for all nations in the region who feel threatened by Russian President Vladimir Putin, whom he referred to as the maniac on the loose. He said it was time to turn the Black Sea into a sea of NATO. I regret to say it, but I believe the West had no consistent Black Sea strategy, while Russia has always had one. Aggressive, revanchist, and barbaric. A Kremlin spokesman Tuesday responded to Kleba's comments, saying the Black Sea will never be a sea of NATO. Jeff Custer, VOA News, Washington. Myanmar's opposition envoy to the United Nations appealed Thursday for international action to protect civilians in his country after the military junta carried out deadly airstrikes this week on villagers in the northwest. A federal appeals court is preserving access to an abortion drug, but under tighter rules. AP correspondent Donna Warder has that story. Mifepristone was approved for use by the Food and Drug Administration more than 20 years ago, and it's used in combination with a second drug to terminate pregnancies. But a Texas judge ruled recently to completely block the FDA's approval of the drug following a lawsuit by the Alliance Defending Freedom, which was also involved in the Mississippi case that led to Roe v. Wade being overturned. Just before midnight Wednesday, the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans ruled the drug could be dispensed, but only to the seventh week of pregnancy instead of 10 and not through the mail. The decision could still be appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court. I'm Donna Water. Rail passengers in Japan's northern Sapporo prefecture faced delays after a North Korean missile launch prompted rail operator JR Hokkaido to pause traffic for safety checks on the network. The Japanese government says the, con the country's warning system mistakenly predicted the missile would fall in that region. From Washington, I'm Marissa Melton, VOA News.